rather attractive creatures that in some ways, aren't they? Small, they scared, singing dwarf goats. They sleep on your bed at night. I know what you're thinking. This sounds too good to be true. <laughs> I'm thinking many thoughts right now, Zach. No, no, no. Raise them just you one eighth of an acre. These environmentally friendly pets. <laughs> Yeah, but what do they produce that's not so environmentally friendly? Oh, yeah. Why, nothing. Uh -huh. Because they are housebroken. I, I would you tell them where the garden is, and they will fertilize that garden. That's <laughs> <laughs> being housebroken. And you think, well, how will I get all of that manure worked into the soil? That's what I'm thinking. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. There's no need to. Okay. You know why? They have hooves. Zach's small, scared, dwarf chickens will help <laughs> Kick up the soil <laughs> while eating horrible garden pests like aphids. Oh, hey, this chickens is a toxin. I have to say, hmm? chickens don't sing. No, so this, they're a, mute. this is a whole <laughs> ecosystem <laughs> approach, isn't it? It really is. A to, it's a it's a micro <laughs> ecosystem. A micro ecosystem yeah. approach. Okay. They're almost pocket sized, really. Okay, so I just and you know how oftentimes you go to bed and you leave your goats outside. Yes. Well, and you, yeah, and you I wish. I kind of wonder what they're going to do in the minus twenty winters yeah. in Montreal. And you think to yourself, I wish that goat could sleep in my bed, but it's just too large. <laughs> 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 now you don't have to worry. Because with my small, scared, singing dwarf goats, they just crawl up and... Uh, and okay, they, and I'm a little... I'm wait, a wait, little, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. This is just, more. I want you to There's close more. your eyes. I, close your eyes I, and I, picture, I, all right? Okay. So you're all settled down. It's cold. It's cold Canadian winter. <laughs> and you and your dwarf goat, we'll call him Charlie, um, have just settled down and you can't get to sleep because your mind is racing, right? You're thinking that about all, all the, the time. Yeah. technology and whatever. And, and then your your dwarf goat, sensing something is wrong, starts just gently in your ear. Just <laughs> Go back to singing part. <laughs> So I got the small part, I got the dwarf. I'm singing I, scared. I've got the scared, but I, I have got the scared. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the goats aren't necessarily scared because they're stupid. Yes. Uh, they're <laughs> full size. <laughs> so part of the problem, as Dan is so acutely or adeptly <laughs> noted, uh, was that goats are difficult to knock over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he means with a car. <laughs> I don't think it he's mean, boxing goats. It could mean a running child. <laughs> it's true. Anyway, <laughs> so when they're smaller, they're easier to knock over, right? Okay. But you still, you get heartbroken. Yes. If you kill somebody's pet. Goat. Especially if it's a small, a small sing scared singing. singing one. Yes. <laughs> Thus, they're genetically engineered to be frightened. Oh. Okay. Of most things. Is that when they pee all the time? No, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I knew when they were about the driveway, your goat would get frightened. You'd hear, la, 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 la. <laughs> and you'd be like, put on a little perfume, and then, hello, right? And your goat would just rub against the leg, and just, it'd be cute. Can, can you believe that he, he has probably won awards for his improv, improv, Don't you want this? improv skills? Can I help with the budget? Oh, please do. We're running into some major problems. I'm glad you talked about it. It's, it's the budget or the goat? It's the budget or the goat. Well, at this point, you may want the goat. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up budget because these goats incredibly inexpensive. Uh -huh. Incredibly inexpensive. No, they're inexpensive. They're about a quarter of the size and one eighth of the cost of a regular goat. One eighth of the mm -hmm. cost. Okay, what was the cost of a regular goat? One thousand five hundred shillings. Oh, right, right. For six months in prison. <laughs> Gift. <laughs> <laughs> they make great wedding gifts. Think about it.
That's true. What'd you get us? We got you a tiny goat. <laughs> and? No, that's it. <laughs> it's like a lawnmower. <laughs> it's true. It has, a, it has a one year feeding plan. For it's cave. true. Although, through Paul, we realized uh, no, uh -oh. no returns. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who's going to sell a used goat? <laughs> Just goats. No, John, scared, don't singing. ask. 